Good morning from SeaWorld. So yeah, I'm like all decked out in my Discovery Cove still. Uh, yeah, it's a big fan. We went yesterday. If you didn't check out that video, definitely do that. But we came to SeaWorld this morning for one, like, well, multiple reasons. But we came here early because today is National Roller Coaster Day. So apparently, which this is our first year like being pass holders in a decade, so um, I didn't realize that they now do a roller coaster tour and it's free, but it's on National Roller Coaster Day. And they take you behind the scenes and they show you how Mako works. They take you into like the operation room and everything. And I'm a big roller coaster fan. We both are. Yeah. So I thought it would be really cool. Um, so we came pretty close to opening. We were like 15 minutes out late, which was fine. I didn't really want to be here with like the initial rush anyway. But um, the email they sent about it said to go to the reservation and information booth. And we had no idea what that was. Like we we haven't been here enough to really know what everything is. And we went to what I thought it was, which is like the vacation experience where you like book the animal tours. And I asked her and the ambassador said to go to Mako. And I was like, that doesn't sound right. And we went there and they were like, yeah, no, you had to go to guest services. So if you try to do it in the future, I guess, it means guest services. Um, I don't know, why, I don't know why they wouldn't have just put guest services. That would make more would sense. Been, it would have been um, easier. But they told us, like by the time we ran around the park trying to find it, they said it was sold out. So not gonna do that today, which um, I mean, didn't have to come this early if we weren't doing that, <laughs> but we already got to go on a few rides because there were no waits at opening, like yeah. there never is. Um, so we got on Kraken for the first time and Journey to Atlantis. Yeah. Um, and that was my first time ever riding both of those. So um, hopefully in the future if we ride those again, I'll film them. I kind of wanted to like experience it so I knew the best way to film it with the GoPro since Kraken has like a shoulder restraint. So I had to kind of figure out how to hold the GoPro on it. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to film those at some point. But they were both really fun. And now I think we're going to get an early lunch. And I think it's going to be like a weird day for us. I think we're going to leave because we don't need to be here the entire day. But I think we might come back later because it's also Electric Ocean and it's a craft beer festival. So I think we're going to try some food booths for dinner because they gave all of the pass holders three free food items. And then um, we haven't seen Sea Lions tonight, so we're going to do that. So we're going to see how long we stay since we already did a few rides. And we're going to want to take a break from the heat and then we'll be back. So it's going to be interesting. We'll see what we get done now and what we get done later. But I think for now we're going to eat Expedition Cafe. They actually recently changed the menu at a few of the food places. And they have this um, like chicken finger tower that Amanda wants to try. Yeah, I've heard so much about it. So we're going to try that and get some food at Expedition Cafe. All right, we got our food from Expedition Cafe. So I just got uh, more food from the Asian. So it's teriyaki chicken and orange chicken. Um, I, I liked it when we got it like... I don't know, over a month ago probably. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, it was good, so I got that again. And then Amanda got the new Tender Tower, which looks really good. So it's the same chicken that we've had from other, uh, from a different restaurant, I think. Yeah. Um, but, it's so it's, it yeah. So it's waffle fries with chicken, it looks like. Cheese. Bacon. And scallions, I think. Scallions. And then you got your choice of sauces, right? Yeah, they had buffalo ranch or barbecue. And I could not choose. <laughs> they all but sounded like good options. So yeah, I mean, another thing that we've definitely learned is like SeaWorld's portions are huge, which we do have like, they have an all season dining for pass holders. So that's what we use all the time. So it's really nice to just kind of have like your food prepaid for, but we are never hungry leaving SeaWorld. Like yeah. their food is huge and it's been really good. Everything that we've had.
wandering the park. I think we're gonna take our break soon and go home for a few hours, but we were heading towards like, towards the park at exit, and we noticed that people are on the Flamingo paddle boats, which since the park opened, and certainly every time we've been here, these have been closed. Um, so this was an attraction that never reopened after the park reopening, but clearly they must have like just, at least somewhat recently, I mean, we haven't been here in a little while, but certainly since last time we were here, they reopened it. So that's exciting. I guess this is our first like attraction reopening that we've seen. So I know like there's still a couple things that are down like Wild Arctic's under refurbishment. 
Um, the Penguin ride isn't open, and I think that zoo, I think we heard ambassadors talking about how they can't easily be sanitizing the vehicles because the vehicles go into the same room as the penguins, so it's not super safe for them. Um, so who knows when the other rides will open, but it is pretty exciting to see this opening. I don't know if it's something that we would try to do right now just because I feel like it's 100 degrees out and you would just be like baking on the lake, but it definitely adds like some more excitement to the waterfront area. And it's really cool with like the skyline with uh, Mako and Kraken back there and then the flamingos going around. And yeah, other than that, I mean, it is a really nice day out. They have the fountain show going on back there in the distance. They've been pretty much doing that like all morning that we've been here. And I don't know if you hear like talking behind me, but they have the dining with Orca going on right now. Um, so there's an Orca in the tank with everyone eating there, learning about um, the Orcas. And we did see Orca encounter for the first time. Um, so I will put in some clips of that, but that was a really cool show because um, we haven't seen that since we became past members and it's definitely a very different show because it was all about like it was all educational about orcas in the wild and everything and I think it was really cool to kind of use the Shamu Stadium as like an educational place now to kind of go through the different behaviors that they teach the orcas here to simulate the wild so very interesting I was happy to finally see that so we definitely got plenty accomplished this morning even though we couldn't get on that roller coaster tour but still worthwhile to come out and then when we come back later we'll hopefully be able to see a little bit of electric ocean now it is modified so it's actually called electric ocean remix this year which we don't know what we're missing out on because we've never been to electric ocean before but i do think we'll hopefully be able to try to see sea lions tonight and try some craft beer stuff because there's i think over 100 beers and like 20 to 30 something like that food items from the food booths and they all sound amazing so Hopefully we'll do all that when we come back later. All right, so we are back in the front of the park and heading out. Got the lighthouse here, but we noticed that they redid this little like wall that they always have for whatever's going on. So we'll be back later for the craft beer festival. So we're very excited for that. All right, we are back after a few hour break. We're here to see sea lions tonight. I don't think we're gonna stay for the fireworks, but we're, we're gonna see how it goes afterwards. At least from walking to the Sea Lion and Honor Stadium, seems like mask enforcement's not as strict today. And I don't know if that's because it's the first weekend of craft and beer or if it's just because um, more people are drinking now that it's nighttime for craft beer festival. It's definitely not as crowded during the day, um, but we're probably gonna head out after this maybe, but at least we're seeing um, Sea Lions tonight, which will be fun. The stadium is pretty empty, so I don't have to worry about too many people here, so worry about distance at the stadium, but um, yeah, we'll kind of see what happens after the show's done. Place like Cyril to have a tram to the parking lot or something, but 
There are so many fun rides, so many great animals to see here. It's going to be such fun. Oh no! Security!
fries and some chicken fingers. Oh yeah, there's orcas too. Time to get one food booth item on the way out. So we got the rainbow cheesecake. It's here in the waterfront. It looks really good. I had a bite. It tastes really good. So it's basically just like cheesecake. Yeah, it's just cheesecake filling with whipped cream. But it's very colorful, very fun. But I think we're gonna head out for now. We're probably not gonna stay for the fireworks. 
but at least we got some cheesecake and it is really good. So there's some electric ocean dancers that just went by us. And we're gonna head to the park exit now. All right, that's gonna be it for our very first visit to the craft beer festival. Um, we are not going to wait for the fireworks. Um, yeah, we saw it another time. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to come back. We're gonna give it a few weeks. There's just not a whole lot of mask wearing tonight, so we're gonna leave. It's a little scary. It, uh, the one thing I will say is it was very different during the day. Yeah. So like when we took our break, it, something must have changed because <laughs> I don't know if it's like more people drinking, Maybe. but the mask wearing is definitely better than the, during the day. So I think if we want any more food items from craft beer, we're gonna probably give it like a few weeks and then we're gonna come during the day. Um, so maybe we won't be seeing the fireworks to film them and that's fine. Um, there's always next year, but we're gonna call it a day. Um, at least the cheesecake we have is good. Unfortunately, we won't see the fireworks tonight, but it is what it is. We're just gonna do what we're comfortable with. And that is our visit to SeaWorld today. <laughs> so hopefully we're able to make it out in a few weeks and maybe just because it's the first weekend, it's really different this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we'll see a change, but we're gonna give it some time and then kind of gauge it again. But um, if you like this video, definitely give us a like. Subscribe to our channel to see whenever we decide to make it back out here in a few weeks and see if it's any different or if it's not, we'll find out. Um, but thanks for watching and we will see you guys the next time we go to Disney and beyond.